Uh, Richie, it's been a frustrating few weeks uh, in terms of results, but uh, good to get the win today. Yeah, massive. Um, our game in hand, a couple of difficult players. We know it's going to be tough, physical, and um, I thought I thought we did excellent. I thought our shape was a lot better. We played when we needed to play. We scored two good goals, and um, fair play to the lads digging in at the end. It's not always easy with um, ten men. And obviously, with them going a little bit more direct. It's always going to be tough, but we showed our character. Oh, unbelievable to get that win. Um, I think we needed it. You know, it's, like you say, it's been frustrating. Uh, drawing games and that. Obviously, Saturday, put Saturday to bed, and we've come out and got the win. Oh, massively. I think when you uh, when you have a bit of a run where you don't win, obviously we've been having a lot of draws. Yeah. If you lose, you're like, are oh, there X amount of games without win? But if you win, it's their X amount of games unbeaten. So now we can look at it a bit more positively. You know, we've we, we moved up the league. We're not far off uh, automatic promotion places now. I think there's a few reasons to be cheerful today. Obviously, look, we, we were devastated by Saturday to be out of a cup competition that early uh, in the manner that it was was really disappointing. But then to go and show a reaction like this and to really dig in was quite satisfying in the end there. And uh, when you won the Goal of the Month award, you told us uh, you're not going to score too many more of them, but another bullet goal today. Talk us through that. Yeah, it's, um, just been talking to Robbie there on the way, on the way in there. Um, I've had a few chances this season, all pretty similar. Doncaster, the FA Cup last week, and just thankfully today that one managed to go in. Um, you always hope for just for a good contact, and I felt that I've had some good contacts to be fair, but they've just been blocked. And um, when they don't get blocked, they're going. So, thankfully, today it went in. I want to score goals. Um, by the end of the day, the main thing is the team winning, and that's what we've done. So I'm happy. Everyone's happy. We all wasn't. And obviously, the game changed there uh, when we went down to ten men in the second half, and then went on to concede. How does that sort of change the mentality within the team? It just gives all the, the full crowd like a lift. Um, it's, it's not easy, but you've just got to try and manage it the best we can. We knew that they were going to shut the big lads on. They went a bit more direct at half time, and new set pieces with being a man down. Um, we're not like the biggest team, and they managed to get a goal. But we showed what we're all about, and dug in, and and thoroughly deserved the three points. Obviously, it's hard work, you know, going down to ten men, and it's a shame we can't see the goal. But I think the lads shown what we're about, and we stuck together, and we kept the ball out of the net after we conceded and we got the win. Well, obviously you lose a bit of comfortability, obviously Platy got sent off. We don't really think it's a red card, I think I think it's really harsh. Um, but then that changes the dynamic of the game because I think up until then we were so comfortable. Um, I don't really think they were they were bothering us too much at all. I don't really remember having any saves to make or anything like that. So once that happened, obviously the momentum sort of favoured them a little bit. But uh, as I said, it's to stick in and win like that, like it's a really good feeling, especially come to a place like this where they have a good home record. To go and do that puts a real marker down, I think. And uh, yeah, a bit of a bit of authority from us there, which is good to see. And longest 12 minutes of your life there at the end? I don't know where he's gone to. <laughs> to be fair, once Platy got sent off, it was the longest, however, 30, 40 minutes, whatever it was there. Um, I can only imagine my mum at home watching on. My brother was in the stand, so I can only imagine how they were. Because yeah, it was it was horrible, and they, they had a spell where they were getting corner after corner, and you know the pressure was on. But yeah, credit to the lads. I didn't have I didn't have loads to do today, really. So credit to the lads. They were, they were very solid defensively, as as they normally are. To be fair. And you know, again, keeping that momentum going into uh, another trip. You know, we we did very well at Sutton last yeah. year. Uh, looking forward to that trip. Yeah, I mean, off the back of that, I think we'll all be looking forward to going down there and hopefully putting on another performance like that and getting another win. Yeah, we, we want to build a momentum. You know, when you know, we said it before, we want to go on runs, and you know, we've got one in a row tonight. We, we want to get to two in a row, three in a row, four in a row, and, and that's that's what we need to be aiming for. We need to be aiming for to turn draws into well, no, wins. Well, not going. We want to be uh, turn draws into wins and uh, yeah, working away at the table. But yeah, we're, we're showing signs that we're uh, that we can win games like this where we've got to dig in and fight, and uh, that's a good that's a sign of a good team. Yeah, absolutely. I think our way form has been been excellent. Um, we hit some difficult places and picked up three points, and um, today was no different. And um, we've got to go again Saturday because it's another big one. I've got a good story as well. If you want. Oh, go on, go on. Uh, yeah, this is great. So I, I had a bit of a tough week. Uh, Obviously, it was well documented. I had a, had a back spasm last week, um, so Tuesday we were training, and uh, I just felt my back go completely went. And uh, like I'm talking, I couldn't stand up straight. Uh, I had to get like lifted in from training. Like I, I was dead and buried. And uh, wake up Wednesday morning, I went to go to the toilet, and uh, I couldn't stand up. Like I, I, I was I was on the toilet, and I just got stuck. I, I could I couldn't stand up, so I've ended up having to fall off the toilet and then like crawl back into my bed and it was that was probably the only point last week where I thought 
I could be a bit of a doubt for Saturday. But luckily, you know, Dale, the physios, the medical staff, they uh, they did work some magic, and I don't really know how I got through the game Saturday. It was a bit of a miracle. But uh, yeah, I went from falling off the toilet on Wednesday to uh, somehow playing 90 minutes Saturday, which was uh, credit to the medical staff. Brilliant. I mean, that is, yeah. I, I did. I'll be honest with you, mate. I'm, I did not expect you to, to come up with that. So uh, I'm, got I'm, another story. Uh, you go for it, mate. Okay, honestly, um, we'll so have a podcast this, this if you want. This is good. This is good. <laughs> so, um, so Saturday, obviously, like I'm, I'm devastated after the game. Yeah. You know, we got knocked out of the FA Cup. Really upset. And uh, Youngy took me out for dinner. We went out for dinner in Sheffield. Uh, really good. And then uh, his missus is the lead in Mamma Mia. In, ah, yes, in Sheffield, yeah. she was amazing. By the way, she was absolutely incredible. Really loved it. Like, really, really cheered me up. Nothing cheered me up more than watching Youngie's missus kissing someone else on stage. It was <coughs> perfect. It was brilliant. Leave that in. <laughs> Leave that Jesus in. Christ, man! So, uh, <laughs> Youngie's missus, this uh, this win was for you. <laughs> Dear me.